Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says three to the power of X plus three to the power of X plus one plus three to the power of X plus three equals 31 thirds. And it wants us to solve for X. And if you want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First thing I'm noticing, some of these exponents are being added. So let's pull up these notes right here. If you ever have something like X to the power of A plus B, that's the same thing as X to the power of A times X to the power of B. So this three to the power of X plus one, that's gonna change into three to the X times three to the one. And this three to the X plus three is gonna change into three to the X times three to the three. So these both changed using these notes. And then this three to the X, we can bring it down and we can bring down the 31 thirds. And now let's try to simplify some things. This three to the one is three and three cubed is 27. And now we have three separate terms. All of them contain a three to the X. Normally we could factor out three to the power of X, but I kind of want to rearrange it like this. So this is like 27, three to the X's, and this is three, three to the X's, and this would end up being one, three to the X. So ultimately we have one, three to the X plus three, three to the X plus 27, three to the X. These are going to add up to give us 31, three to the X's. And that's still going to be equal to 31 thirds. And then next we can multiply both sides by one over 31. On the left hand side, this one over 31 and the 31 are going to cancel each other out. So we're left with three to the power of X. And on the right hand side, this 31 and this 31 will cancel each other out and we'll be left with one third. And now since this three is in the denominator, it reminds me of negative exponents. Here are the notes right here. C to the negative one is equal to one over C. So we can rewrite this one third as three to the power of negative one. And that's still gonna be equal to three to the power of X. Both these bases match and they're not a one, a negative one or a zero, which means this will only be true if X is equal to negative one. And this is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. I'm a little disappointed that it's not some crazy answer, but on a positive note, it'll be easy to check. Here's all the work right here. So we just plugged in negative one for all the X's and it simplifies out to 31 thirds equals 31 thirds. So X equals negative one works. And here's tomorrow's problem. Five to the power of X plus two is equal to 71 plus five to the power of X plus five squared. And it wants to know what is five to the power of X. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.